So obviously the building blocks to getting you guys to the accomplishments that you had started probably in a general aviation airplane. Can you touch on your early flight training and how that helped you accomplish the things you both did in your career? Uh, I started out in a uh, T-6. Some people called them AT-6s in those days, but they weren't advanced of much anything that I could think of. But uh, anyway, I was very experienced. I had a uh, total time of 20 hours. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I can remember, uh, you know, I was so used to this two-seater. Two uh, you had the guy in the front, uh, and then behind you had this guy screaming his head off. Uh, and uh, it was a little different this time. I got in, taxied out, take, took off, and first turn out of traffic, I looked back at my sh over my shoulder to see where I was going, and I got a glimpse of the back cockpit. There was nobody in there, for God's sake. <laughs> I was totally flummoxed. I forget what happened on the rest of the flight. Uh, Joe? Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, uh, I was so interested and passionate about l learning to fly or being a pilot and flying. Uh, I really didn't have any opportunity to do it until, actually until I got into college. I was, I was working at Cessna during the summers to save money to go back to school the next fall. And, uh, and I, I uh, had an opportunity to work at a little grass strip airport there in Wichita, and right off the end of the runway. And uh, I, I would work eight hours sweeping the hangar, cleaning the toilets, gassing airplanes and stuff, for one hour of flight time in the one Cessna 120 that, that the owner had. Uh, my instructor was my boss at Cessna, who was the head of the power plants division. He was a wonderful guy. And he really taught me to respect airplanes, I think. And, and really taught me to the, the, the thrill and the responsibilities of flying an airplane, as well as manually, I mean, manually how to fly it. So I, uh, I had a wonderful opportunity before I got into the Air Force. I was, after I graduated from college, I had to wait about six months to get into flight school. There was a backup of, of, of applications for flying through training. So I stayed there and worked at Cessna until the time to go to the Air Force. But when I started flying to the Air Force, um, I, I was a little behind Mike in, in, in timing and getting, getting my flying career started. And uh, we started out in uh, T-34s and then went to T-28s, which, which were both tricycle geared airplanes. And having flown little uh, conventional geared light planes, I thought, this is easy. This is it's not only fun, but it's free, and that was the thing. I didn't have to pay for the flying time. 